This is the exact message that you need to hear as well as your prediction for this month. Get ready, because here we go. This is always one of my most popular and most requested videos that I make each and every month because the messages and predictions are insanely accurate. In this video, you're gonna choose a photo and I will tell you the message you need to hear and a prediction for what's about to happen for you this month. And this will be extra helpful if you've been sort of needing an answer on something or you just kind of wanna know what's next. This video will give you a very accurate prediction for what's about to happen for you this month. And as usual, I'm not just gonna give you the exact message and prediction that you need to hear today. I will also share a meditation and an affirmation to use based on whichever photo you choose. So you'll not only get the message that you need to hear, but I'll also share tools that you can take action on to really amplify and create some amazing results this month. So listen up because you are about to hear exactly what you need to know. And if you've been here before, you know the drill, but just in case you're new, how it works is that I'm gonna put up four photo cards up on the screen and then I will give you your prediction and manifestation message based on whichever photo you choose. And if you like these types of videos, I actually created a whole playlist called the Choose a Photo Playlist. It's linked down below and here you can find all of these types of videos and get all of your messages and predictions. Yes, you can go back and revisit other ones and see what new messages come up for you. And also really quickly, if you're new here, I'm Mary Kate and I'm a mindset coach and manifesting expert focused on getting you transformational results. My whole channel is all about manifesting the law of attraction with meditations and more where I share the tools you need to get the results you want. Here on my channel, I pride myself in making manifestation make sense. And I post brand new videos every single Wednesday, so be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. And before we get into the video, go ahead and hit that little thumbs up button below if you like these types of videos so that I know to make more for you. It takes just a quick second, but it lets me know that you're watching and getting value. So once you do that, let's get right into it. Now, quick disclaimer, like I've mentioned before in my other Choose a Photo videos, this is not tarot, it's not any kind of psychic thing. This is actually based through psychology, energy, visualization, and interpretation. And also, like I mentioned, you'll likely be shocked at just how accurate this gets. So now in just a moment, I'm gonna show you those four photo cards up on the screen at the same time, and you are going to choose just one. Do not overthink this, do not go too deep, don't get caught going back and forth. Just choose one, whichever one you feel instinctively drawn to, you don't have to like it, it doesn't have to be the pretty one. And then I will give you the message on what it means and what's about to happen for you. Pick the one you're instinctively drawn to, it doesn't have to make sense. Now here are the four photos, and again, just pick one, and I will tell you the message and prediction based on whichever photo you choose. Here they are, and you have just a few seconds to choose. If you chose the first photo of that open road with the blue sky, here is the message and prediction that you were meant to hear, as well as an affirmation and a meditation that will benefit you the most this month. If you chose this photo, it's time to get out of your head and get out of your own way. There has been a part of you that really wants to do something specific or make a certain move, but instead of going for it and just doing it, you're sort of stuck in your head, overthinking it and overcomplicating it and making it more overwhelming than it needs to be. And by doing this, you are essentially putting yourself out of alignment and just sort of torturing yourself by kind of going in circles. This is your sign to trust yourself. If you are feeling a strong pull or a strong impulse to make this next move or to go after something you want, instead of overthinking it and talking yourself out of it and overcomplicating it, what if you just move towards it with a neutral curiosity? What if you took just one small step and then saw what happened next. Because so often, those first steps are actually the catalyst that makes it all come together. But it can't all come together if you aren't willing to move towards it. And to clarify, no, this doesn't mean go make big, reckless moves without thinking, not at all. This means noticing where you feel strongly pulled or noticing if you really feel like you're wanting to do a certain thing or make a certain move, and then just taking the first step towards exploring it. You can almost think of it like how you try on clothes. You try on a shirt before you fully commit to buying it. Trying it on to see if it feels like a good fit at this point in your life. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but how would you know until you explored it? And not only will this bring you clarity, but it will also sort of put you on the path of alignment to receiving exactly what you want. But you have to get out of your own head and stop overthinking it and making it so complicated. It's less complicated than you think. And the details always work themselves out when you listen to your heart and notice what's being asked of you. Trust yourself 
move towards it. Things that might feel like a crazy distant dream. Things that might feel huge to you right now. All of it is possible. And when you get into alignment and follow your gut instincts, fully trusting yourself, that, that right there is where mountains are moved and things work out in the best possible way. Trust yourself. And if you chose this photo, be sure to start using the affirmation, if I want it, I meant to have it. I am open and ready to do my part. If I want it, I meant to have it. I am open and ready to do my part. And also be sure to start listening to either the Dream Life Accelerator Subliminal or the Manifesting Vortex Meditation. You can try them both. You can use one. Pick whichever works best for you kind of instinctively. And if you chose this photo, your prediction is that you are going to start seeing cactuses everywhere. Cacti, cactuses. It could be either in person, it could be in a movie, in a photo, or in a restaurant, or maybe even someone talking about a cactus. And I know that sounds silly, but watch how often you start seeing them. If you chose the second photo of the money in the sky, here is the message and prediction that you were meant to hear, as well as an affirmation and a meditation that will benefit you the most this month. If you chose this photo, the amazing news is that unexpected money will be showing up for you at some point this month. But yes, there is a but. You have to be open to fully noticing and expecting it. Do yourself a favor and don't overthink it or overcomplicate it or get lost in the amount to where you might actually miss it. I mean, the funny thing is, is that we're always manifesting and sometimes we actually manifest exactly what we want, but if it doesn't show up kind of how we expect it or maybe in the amount we expected it or if it isn't some big grand gesture, sometimes we miss it. This money could show up in the form of a refund or a credit or even a discount. Watch how often money starts showing up for you in fun and unexpected ways. And if you chose this photo, this month is all about abundance for you. That is going to be your focus for the month. And as you go about each day, I want you to start your day with this affirmation. Overflowing abundance is standard for me. More than enough is always available. Overflowing abundance is standard for me. More than enough is always available. And then from there, be on the lookout for how much abundance shows up for you, not just in the area of money, but in all aspects of your life. Abundance isn't just money. Abundance is having more than enough resources and support. So look for and seek evidence of that every day in your life, in all different areas. That in itself will create some major miracles for you this month. And also be excited and be expectant of that money showing up for you in a really fun way. And if you chose this photo, your prediction is that you are going to start seeing crystals everywhere. It could be in person, it could be in a show, it could be in a store or in a movie, or maybe even on a piece of jewelry. Watch how often you start seeing crystals everywhere, especially green ones. I mean, all crystals, but notice the green ones too. And if you chose this photo, be sure to start listening to either the Money Mag Magnet Affirmation Reprogrammer, that was a mouthful, or the Daily Affirmation Activation Series for Programming Your Brain for Abundance. I'm gonna link both of those down below for you. You can use both or pick whichever one feels best for you. They're all just options. And if you chose the third photo of that trellis with the vines, here is the message and prediction that you were meant to hear as well as an affirmation and a meditation that will benefit you the most this month. Just because you haven't seen immediate evidence of something that you want doesn't mean that it's not working or that it isn't going to happen or that you're doing anything wrong at all. Certain manifestations just take longer than others. And the truth is you could do everything correctly, but certain things still take time. And you don't get to force or control when things happen as frustrating as that may be. Your job is to do the internal work, get into the certainty, clear the limiting beliefs, and then be open and ready for when the circumstances line up for you to have what you want. But again, how things come together and when isn't up to you. So instead of getting frustrated at the perceived lack of results, instead see things coming together in the perfect way at the perfect time. Like all of the little pieces to the puzzle, the people, places, things, events, all of it is conspiring and coming together in your favor. Even though you can't see it happening behind the scenes, it is. I mean, you wouldn't plant a seed expecting a full grown tree by the morning, but you still plant that seed knowing that it will eventually become a tree. And you won't know the exact timing of when the tree is fully formed, but you also don't care because you know the outcome. You know planting that seed results in a tree. So trust the process and stay in the energy of receiving, knowing it's all working out in your favor. And if you chose this photo, an affirmation that's going to be so helpful for you is, I am certain of the outcome. I don't know how or when, but I know that it will. 
I am certain of the outcome. I don't know how or when, but I know that it will. That immediately gets you into that energy that you need to be in to sort of let go of that grip and allow it to be worked out for you. And if you chose this photo, be sure to start listening to either the receive and release meditation or the law of assumption subliminals. You can use both or you can pick whichever one feels best for you. And your prediction is that you are going to start seeing tomatoes everywhere. And I know some of you might be sitting there saying, what is she talking about? Yes, I mean actual tomatoes. And it might sound silly, but watch how often you start seeing them. It could be in gardens. It could be on TV, in stores, maybe even pictures. Watch how often tomatoes start showing up for you. And if you chose the fourth photo of the dominoes, here is the message and prediction that you were meant to hear, as well as an affirmation and a meditation that will benefit you the most this month. Right now, there is a certain shift that's being required of you because you might be wanting something while simultaneously opposing or blocking it without even realizing it. And this can be happening in so many unexpected ways. Like I said, oftentimes people don't even realize that they're subconsciously blocking having what they want, but it all starts within your perception and your thoughts and your beliefs. When you're honest and you really think about whatever it is that you're manifesting, are you looking at it from a place of feeling desperate or annoyed or frustrated? or maybe even jealous of the people that already have it? Or do you find yourself saying things like, I need, or I want, or are you kind of looking for outside sources, kind of begging and pleading for something to fix it? Because it is so, so common in manifestation to think that you need to be granted something from the universe or from something outside source. But the truth is, it all starts from within you. Your certainty, that belief, that is what's going to be the ignition for what you want to manifest. When you keep trying to manifest something while also kind of simultaneously thinking opposing thoughts or believing that it's hard or difficult or far away, you're actually repelling it. And when you have feelings that conflict with you being able to have it, that also repels it. So the work for you this month is noticing when these things come up because it's human nature to have these things come up. So I mean, don't beat yourself up over it. Instead, be really curious this month, leaning into and exploring what you actually believe to be true and what you think to be true and start to shift anything that doesn't support you having what you want. And if you aren't already a member of the rewire, I highly, highly recommend that you look into that program. If you chose this photo this month, the rewire is really going to help you kind Kind of solidify and shift your beliefs and you can actually even start seeing immediate evidence of what you want with some of the techniques inside that program. I'm going to go ahead and put a link up here and I'll link down below if you want to get more information about joining the rewire. That will be so beneficial for you this month. And if you chose this photo, be sure to start using the affirmation, of course I am meant to have what I want. I always get what I want or better. Of course I'm meant to have what I want. I always get what I want or better. And also be sure to start using either the belief reprogramming meditation or the dream life accelerator subliminal. You can use both. You can pick whichever one fits best. Do what works for you. So those are the four photos. Let me know which one you chose. If it was one, two, three, or four. And if the message resonated with you, these are some of my favorite comments to read. I always love hearing the results. And like I mentioned, if you want to watch some of these other choose a photo videos, you can click on the link in the description box below for the choose a photo playlist. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell notification so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. You can also find me over on Instagram and TikTok and threads at MK Magic Mindset. And if you want to learn more about me, my programs, how to work with me and more, you can visit my website at mkmagicmindset.com and I will see you in the next one.